everybody this is a uh, Texas uh, Tiger Digs and I am going to uh, I'm gonna give you a quick shout out the channel is not going to change much but you're gonna see a few other things I think you're beginning to see that I've been rolling out a few tools and accessories that that, that are roughly uh, metal detecting related but uh, you know and it, it, it relates quite a bit to uh, some of the hobbies and pastimes I've had over the years. So I thought I'd give a little background. Uh, you know, my my uh, my heading is suburban detecting. It's because I live in the suburbs, but I wasn't born and raised in the suburbs. Uh, I was born uh, not far outside the city, outside the, the, the big city where I'm near, which you know is Dallas. And uh, so, but back then Dallas didn't Dallas didn't radiate its influence out. So I was in a rural area. Uh, and my, uh, it wasn't far from Dallas. You don't have rural areas not far from Dallas anymore. But back then, uh, you did. Dallas's influence didn't spire out to the degree it does. It was there, but not ever present. So, uh, you know, I was raised uh, near my grandmother and grandfather at the bottom of a hill. And I was surrounded by family in all directions. You couldn't get much more rural than that type of environment. So, uh, and my grandfather. My grandfather was a real outdoorsman. My grandfather was a man who would be a, I remember one time he was cleaning his fish that he, that he had, uh, he had, uh, you know, he'd be fished and got them. He running trot lines before trot lines were illegal in my state. And he was just cleaning fish, etc. And then he would look down, he looked up at me and said, boy, you know, a, a little snake bit me there. And he said, mm. and then he said, uh, and he went right back to cleaning his fish. And so that's the stock of people I'm from. So you're going to be seeing, uh, you know, more tools and stuff because I do love tools. Uh, you know, you're going to see some outdoor stuff that you might think this guy's in the suburbs of the sixth largest metropolitan area in North America. Why has he got this stuff? It's because that's my roots. My roots was uh, buck knives and and uh, and uh, shotguns and. Uh, uh, my my grandfather would shoot and skin and eat almost anything. My uh, my my great uncle, which is one of my dad's one of my dad's father my dad's father's brothers, he was a man who would sh could shoot the eyes out of a the eyes out of an ant, and he was a and he would he had a large family and he would basically shoot and skin anything he needed to 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 do to have to to eat. So I just want to let you know, so you're going to be seeing some stuff that you might not think that would fit in the profile you might have of me. Uh, so I thought I would clarify that, pro that profile. So uh, you're going to be seeing uh, knives. Now, I'm not going to, I don't, I'm not a big on, uh, you know, functional knives, yeah, because like my, my grandfather had lots of knives for cleaning, etc. But I'm, you know, I'm big on multi-tools. I love multi-tools. So you're going to be seeing multi-tools, etc. In addition, you're going to be seeing me making more mods. I've got some useless stuff around here I need to modify to possibly make it more useful. And if I break it, no major loss, that type of thing. You're going to be seeing that as well. But uh, the focus is still going to be 90% plus, 95% plus, most of the time 100%, nothing but metal detecting. But you're going to see a few odd things pop up that I think might be interesting interesting to you. And I've I looked at the the group that I am now involved in, the Melody Tech Community on YouTube, and you guys were basically raised like I am, but some of you may still maintain those rural roots. But I had to, uh, and and my roots are still are still there. But the city expanded. The bottom area where my grandfather hunted is now lake, now a, a large lake. So uh, you know things have changed around here. You know, but I've been 31 years in the computer business now, so you're gonna see some tech, some techy stuff, etc. So uh, because uh, that's that's what that's what I've been making my living at, uh, uh, because that's where the money was, and that's where you could find gainful employment. And so far, it's taken me within spitting distance of retiring. Ah. <sighs> And boy, you are in. I hope to still be doing this when I'm retiring. When I retired, so you guys are going to see me in brand new and larger areas uh, out uh, 
out hopefully doing some doing some more rural areas and etc but until then i'm i'm really happy doing what i'm doing here in the rural in the uh, in the suburban and urban areas uh, you know cuz this this is where i've been living uh, the vast majority of my uh, of my working and now my living life so you're not going to get that you're still going to be seeing uh, the the camera glasses and the cameras come and go uh you know, like I said, it, this is developed into another whole hobby. And you're going to see me try to bend these bars every now and then. You're going to see me some with some other exercise equipment trying to stave off the Grim Reaper for as long as I can. Uh, and uh, this is probably my first thing I want to show you. This is a Glock, my Glock folding shovel. And this is my favorite folding shovel. It really is. Because if you notice, it, it does expand to a very good length. And I love the Glock shovel and Glock, yes, the 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 uh, the firearms manufacturer Glock. And you can set this at various angles. You can you can set it at this angle, you know, and and it's locked in. It has a little wheel that that you can lock it into position. Uh, you can set it at a. I think you can even actually set it even more extreme angle in this, like this. So in effect, what you've done is created a a very uh, a very unusual looking pick so uh, you know I, I really do like this thing I've had this for a, a while uh, probably for the longest the duration I've been melody tech I've had this it's not a cheap shovel but uh, and it is uh, very lightweight it, and it's, it's hard cast plastic at the bottom and you just simply twist and push and then you get it at a at a short level you know I don't I haven't got a chance to use this much but you know put it out Pull it out, twist it a few times, and you've got a you've got a three quarter length shovel, maybe, or a, a half length shovel, the one that's sufficient enough for you to get it in the ground and stick your and stick your feet up and actually push it and shove it into the ground. So uh, hopefully you're going to be seeing that in use uh, sometime soon, and it's a uh, very good and you know it's a Glock, so you know they're not going to stick their name on a on anything that's it's shoddy and less than excellent. So I just want to let you know the channel is going to be going to slip into countryfication every once in a while to uh, to one degree or another. You know, if I find something neat and new, I'm going to bring it. Uh, and most of it is going to always be going to be metal detector related. But you know, I, like I said, I love tools. I've got a full set of tools in my garage that I haven't used in a while. I use it to actually change out a head gasket on a uh, on a uh, on an import that I. Uh, that I had successfully and so I've got torque wrenches and things I haven't used in a long time I don't know why I keep them but love my tools so I just want to let you know you're going to be seeing some other unusual things and you're going to be seeing some gardening stuff flash by you know because this is what my hobby is digging you know this metal detecting is my hobby it's, been, it's, it's a little bit less than an obsession <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I really do enjoy it. I've been having uh, little withdrawal pains on the on the four, three or four days. I haven't been able to do it. God knows what you guys up in the north, buried under five, six, seven, eight inches of snow, are feeling. I understood it in microcosm. <laughs> so, but uh, my our weather should be getting back into its normal trend pretty soon. So that's going to be cool. And like I said, if you if you're watching this way uh, ahead. Of uh, way out of time frame. This is April of, uh, let me April. <laughs> this is February of 2015, about to be a few days from March. In fact, three or four days from March. Anyway, I uh, just want to let you uh, know that, uh, that I'm going to be keeping at it and, you know, I'm going to be trying to make it interesting for you. And uh, you're going to be seeing me with screwdrivers and screwing well with some electronic stuff. Um, I'm, I'm a pretty good computer guy. Does not mean you're very you're a great electronics guy. Don't let anybody fool you. If a guy can hit a keyboard and make a computer do something, does not make him great with a soldering iron and a screwdriver. But I'm gonna do my best, and it'll be fun. It'll be uh, some some successes hopefully, and some failures certainly. Anyway, it's Texas Tiger Days. I want you to know what's coming up, and uh, you know, come on in and subscribe uh, because uh, you know. I, I see all of you guys out there, uh, you know, going out into country areas and doing some things. It makes me, it makes me uh, feel lonely for home. 
Now my uh, my uh, old hunting ground, what I used to be, was buried under hotels and apartments and and uh, and various other uh, uh, other advancements have uh, have just sort of moaned over the area where I used to play as a child. Anyway, it's Texas Dr. Diggs, and I'll see you next time. And uh, like I said, you're going to be seeing some new things popping up every now and then and some old things. So when you see me pop up here with another uh, garden trial or something else that looks cool, don't think I've lost my mind. It's, it's part of, well, I may have, but... <laughs> But it's it's gonna be some things that I'm uh, that I'm gonna show you that I I'm really gonna enjoy uh, showing and just demonstrating out in the field hopefully as well, and you're gonna see uh, you know I love multi tools love multi tools the whole thing I really like is this huge Swiss Army knife I've seen God that thing costs a bundle but who knows I got a birthday coming up and my my favorite person always buys me exactly what I want. Well, three of my, my three favorite people. Well, three of my four favorite people, girlfriends in there, five, her daughters in there, and then me, myself, and I. <laughs> anyway, I'll talk to you later. Bye.